welcome back everyone to another episode of Castile, Castile, the Emperor of the Emperor of Spain. Soon to be the Emperor of Spain. And then we're going to also be the Emperor of that land. Or formerly known as that land. Now it's known as Terra de España, where we are slowly starting to colonize everything. Yeah. Last episode we finished up with our first colony. I am so excited with this. And you know I thought about it for a long time and just quickly I'm going to in honor of the person that discovered these islands I'm gonna name it Fernando oh my goodness that is a terrible Fernando let's let's redo that there we go this is actually I got an even better idea let's go right here there we go Oh wait, there we go, yeah, Saint Fernando, not really a saint, but an excellent explorer, that's how, you know what, that's how I was thinking that we should honor his memory, is the fact that he should get his own province named after him, and I really should probably name a province after the other explorers that miraculously vanished due to their, um, due to us and our poor naval guidance, but, we don't like no <laughs> ultimately I don't think I will okay England you guys love us already Portugal I in Poland I'm gonna hope you guys love us Ottomans I don't really care if you love me because you aren't important uh yeah I think the rest of the world really does like me I'm really just a nice guy in Europe I mean no one hates me everyone's like really kind to me Poland you are being an aggressive monster like I like you Poland <laughs> And let's see, you're under a personal union, in a personal union under Savoy. Okay. Ah, oh, Poland though, you becoming a monster. Just a flat out monster. I like it though. That's what I like about it, Poland. You're aggressive. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can improve relationship with Brittany, who convinced over to another religion. Man, are you having trouble, France. Your almost all your empire is basically Protestant. That is not good. That is not good at all. So, anyways, we're going to be moving our colony over here to this little part of St. Lucia. Hopefully, what I'm going to try to do is... I'm pretty sure, yeah. New Cardinal! Yeah, now we have the Polish to deal with. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to, like, gain all of the Gulf of St. Lawrence trade node. Because this actually feeds into ours, and... Actually, what are my merchants doing right now? Oh, yeah, they're collecting. If we could just, like, start stealing trade from over there... It actually benefit us a lot because a lot of our trade actually um let's see is this the Gulf of St. Lawrence yeah it, a lot of the trade from other trade nodes over here they actually come to us so actually having this would be pretty nice and apparently England is finally getting in on the colonial gain luckily I have better colonies than you yeah you you will have the dirt poor provinces and look they're even like normal winter that's bad we have the nice colonies a nice little hot tropical colonies or really mild winters of uh, Switzerland my king we have informed that Switzerland accepted religious unity with Austria now of the Catholic faith that's good to note it's when it's nice when people are more Catholic these days let's build our little base of operations so that no one dies get you guys on here oh wait get you guys on the ships now let's see has our, has our little little guy reached it yet is he, is, is he almost done topping down a tree? Is he, is he almost done topping down a tree? Apparently I can get an alliance with Austria again, of course. Wow, I lost that really insanely quick. Okay, let's get that back. Wow. Yeah, that was like... I didn't even get a chance. Okay, so apparently uh, natives over here are insanely aggressive. We're going to go send our troops over here immediately. Yeah, we're gonna have our troops already ready on the uh, on this place to make sure our colony is protected. Cause dang, that was quick. I didn't even get a chance to stop them. And guys, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to convert this. This is just way too strong of a like stuff to happen. So it's just it's just not worth it. And over here, inflation, we could probably reduce it, but I don't think I should. Fish. That is what this province is finally producing. That's good. Let's see. Do we have more people up into the papal see? Let's see. 50, 40, 55. Yeah, no one's gonna go for this guy. So let's just start. Let's just start going after this guy. Let's see. Call to arms from Austria. 
Sure, again, I'll go to your wars, but... Uh, current heir could die. Alright, alright, so let me, let me examine my options. My current heir who stinks. You know what? Uh, 50% current heir could die. 50%. Uh, 75% current heir could die. Or 25% gain 30 legitimacy. Hmm. He died. How unfortunate. And as unfortunate, I mean, I really don't give a rat's tootin' because he was a terrible leader. The only thing I am worried about now is that my ruler is 68, but I have confidence in my ruler's uh, fertility that he will make another son as soon as possible. Especially since, what would, I think it'd just go to a different dynasty actually. I think that's what would happen if my guy was to die. Which would be actually pretty scary, so let's see, you guys trying to fight him? Yeah, you guys are trying to fight him, so let's get this guy up there. And yeah, we're just, we're just slowly controlling the Holy See, or at least we're trying to. Low maintenance, yeah, I really don't care, you guys can go do whatever. We can actually raise wartime taxes right now, no, for no particular reason other than to raise wartime taxes. But I really have no reason to raise wartime taxes at this point, so I just won't. I mean, there's really no point. If I don't have a point to raise wartime taxes, I won't raise wartime taxes. Poland, when are you going to become the Commonwealth, though? That's what I'm really waiting for. I'm waiting for that event where you become the Commonwealth. You'd be such a powerful nation. A militaristic leader has died. Oh, no. Um, I actually don't want a king to be leading right now, because that would be really bad. Yeah, all, all things considered, that'd be really bad. Discover La Plata. So, missing seeds at least one province in La Plata. So let's see, I have to colonize La Plata. Let's see, where is La Plata? Menu, no. Uh, find province. La Plata. Plata. Rio de la Plata. Oh, it's all the way over there. Huh. Okay, so there was honestly more land to discover. Huh. I did not know that. So, let's get an explore. Let's get two bogs. I'll just build it myself. I don't need to be, like, greedy and make my other provinces build it. Let's just build two bogs, get my explorer over there, and let's go start exploring more of the new world. Now that we actually have naval bases all over here. And so that we can actually start, like, figuring out what we want and what we want to see. And what do we want to... Oh, let's see. Is anyone, like, trying to go after my people? No, they're not going after him. They're trying to go after him, so I'll invest a little bit in him. Hopefully he'll get up before the other cardinals, like... I hope I hope he gets up there before the other cardinals die. That's basically what I was going to say. Okay. And we're so... Dang it. Seems like we lost one of our cardinals. Hopefully this guy will be converted soon so we can uplift him. Although most of our cardinals have mostly died. I just realized that. That's kind of sad. Huh. I'm, I'm kind of sad now. Most of our cardinals did die. Wow. Um, Mutualism would actually be very terrible for us if we lost that. So I'll use the little bit of whatever I just lost to keep our mutualism. Let's just get the Fernando. Oh my goodness, another Fernando. Fernando Gomez. Oh my goodness, we have... You are going to have to, you are going to be a great, establish a penal colony. Uh, a colony in St. Lucia is now progressing as quickly as we like. One of your advisors, uh, local, uh, oh, I get it. I know what a penal colony is. What am I thinking? Yeah, of course. You guys can set up, you guys go set up prisons over there. I don't care. That, they're not going to have enough to revolt against me. They have about 1,200 natives, and then they have like maybe 138 colonies. Colonialists. There's nothing there. The Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire is, of course, still Austria. Go Austria. And let's see. Oh my goodness, that is slow. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why he does that. Okay, I really don't. And let's see. Let's finally go start exploring a little bit more of this land over here. Like, seriously. I. We kind of know what's over here, but we really don't know what's over here. So let's finally go figure out what is over here. And we are almost done converting all of these lands. Oh my goodness. These two provinces, Gibraltar and Granada, two provinces that have been in our empire for years. I mean, literally years. And we've never been able to convert them because they were so religiously stubborn. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I want you guys... Why you guys... Did I click the wrong... No, this is an explorer. Why are you not doing your explorer thing? 
Did I click the wrong? No, I'm I'm very sure I did not. Yeah, because an animal is that. Yeah, you. Why are you guys not exploring? Do I need to like unlock a little bit more of the ocean for you guys to start exploring? Okay. Oh, I see. There's actual land over here. Okay, that makes sense. I thought you guys were just being jerks and not trying to explore. Okay, so there's more land over here. So let's go figure out more land. Cause I didn't even know there was more land. Conversion successful! Conversion successful! Huzzah! Let's invest into this guy so that Poland will stop being jerks. Okay, yeah! There we go! Look at all this land! Okay, well, look at all that land. I thought there was more. Oh, man, this is still more to our continent. We haven't even discovered it all. Oh, that makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. I'm so glad there's still more we could discover. And... Yes, how long does our continent go on for? Uh, Brittany has now increased relationships completely. So, I'm going to start improving relationships with our good friends. How much do we improve our relationship? Yeah, you guys are fully improved relationships with. Um, let's improve relationship with Russia. Or Muscovy, as they're currently called right now. But we know they're Russia. We know. And, wow, this is actually like... Okay, you guys need to go back to port, so we we'll get you guys back to port and then we'll just continue on exploring, but wow, this is actually like a decent sized continent with all these cool mountain ranges and all these cool like stuff. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. And over here we have a penal colony. <laughs> I love it. I, I, I seriously love it. We have a penal colony. Oh gosh, that's... I, I should be bad about that, but it's... Honestly, not that bad, and they're going to be docking up and repairing right here. Not the best of places to repair, especially since it's just a colony, but it's still good enough. It's good enough to repair, and now that we're like... Mm -hmm, have a little bit of time, I gotta start thinking about a couple things. I think we're definitely going to get our first religious heresy so we can start getting, like, causes their lies against, like, um, Brittany and all of them. So I would really love to take over Brittany, considering they have like no powerful alliances, that'd be really good to take over. And I really hope that France becomes like a Protestant nation, that would be hilarious to watch. Okay, now we can invest in ideas, like I said, I'm going to get this. So now we get permit causes by lines against heathens and heretics. Oh, but I think the rule is that we have to be, yeah, we have to be neighboring them. So we probably already have causes by lines against you guys, am I correct? Not yet. The event has not kicked in just yet. It will, though. Yep! There we go. Now we have a cause spell against Algiers. Didn't take long. Did not take long. And Berber. Yeah, convert that culture. I'll spend 200 Diplo power to convert that culture, seriously. To keep them from stopping being so mad at me? Yeah. Gain a theologian. A theologian, everyone. Yeah, we gained a theologian. Let's see. What would theologian be under? Master of Mint, eh? Um, probably under diplomacy now I'm thinking about it. Colonists, relationships over time, with my relations. Uh, England, naval disorder. Maybe it's actually administration. Missionary strength. Oh, it's him. Oh gosh, he's expensive. But he would increase our missionary strength for two more. Now, if we just had him for like one month, we could probably lower the cost. Hmm. I know my economy can't manage it for very long, but we need to get this, we need to get this, like, completely, like, underneath our control. Like, seriously. We need to finally convert this to our faith and no other faith, because this needs to be, like, you know, everyone knows what I mean. They, they know what I mean. We have to, I don't want to keep having all these, like, people keep coming up to us and being, like, Yay, religion! Or all this kind of stuff, but... I just need more people in our colony. Not our colonies. I just need more people to be, like... In our empire. And to be in our empire, you have to be completely like us. So, to be completely like us, we really do need, like... Everyone to be the same religion. And apparently, I just realized I had really weak soldiers. Shoot. Oh, gosh. Oh, I can raise taxes, though. Good job for raising taxes, everyone. Okay, you guys go crush these. Yeah, actually, let's wait until these guys group up. Because actually, this doesn't have any more revolt risk. Now that we've had, like, 
Now that these guys have been on their own for like years, these guys have like no revolt risk. Let's give it a little bit of time to like heal. Then we'll go over there, convert the culture because we really do need to. Yeah, this is just one of the examples of why we need to convert this. Like, seriously, they need to be converted. Okay, go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sick. Oh my goodness, does, does my woes ever end with all these, like, people? And I should have a native uprising. It doesn't matter. The natives are not going to be strong enough to fight against me. And let's see. We have no legal heir, but this guy is great. <laughs> like, this guy is just heaven on piece of cake. And we have two embargoes going. Oh, wow. Our embargoes. You know, Aragon? Let me see. How much power do you guys have? Actually, a fair bit amount. How much power do we have? A lot. So if I really want to, I could just embargo you guys so much. I'm being a knight. I'm not really in the mood for it, especially since I'm like just trying to keep up with my uh, unpositive stability again, which means this is probably taking a lot longer. Yep, a lot longer. So we're probably gonna need to boost that up as soon as possible. So we don't want to do. We don't want to have that. We definitely don't. And then the conversion process, accommodation with the natives. Huzzah! Oh my goodness, did... Oh no, Aragon, did you guys become... Did you guys become, uh... How did you... Wait, you guys are not... What are you guys? No, they're Catholic. Why Why is it saying I have a... Oh, does it mean full? Full, oh. Cleansing of heresy. Does it... How does this CB work? Like... Do I just have to be a bigger nation than them for them for me to declare war on this? Like... I mean, I, I mean I'm fine with that, but... Hmm... I, I don't know why I should be able to declare war on them. They're, they're completely Catholic, they're... You know, they're not really dealing with any religious turmoil, so... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm very much confused, guys. I'm very much confused. Um, um, and let's see. Advisors-wise, okay. even if we kick the other guys out, we won't be able to convert that province. Hmm. Let's see if that will help. Having a little bit more stability might help. Um, our, if we took down an army down to like zero. It would be helpful, and I think I might do that. So we still do. If we could just convert this, that's all I'm concentrating on. If we can convert this, this will be such a great province to have. Like legitly, this will be a great province to have. And then once we have this and this, an eight ta tax province plus a, a five tax province, great provinces overall. This will make my day so much nicer. By the way, I forgot to be investing in the people. So let's do that. Yeah, let's just start investing back into all of our guys. I was completely forgetting about that. Uh, Anti-Piracy Act. Of course I'm going to do an Anti-Piracy Act. I don't want pirates in my bay. Okay. And let's see. Conquer everything militaristically. Yeah, I know. We, we've already done that a long time ago. We're just waiting for you guys to officially acknowledge that. Uh, Barbie and pirates defeated. My king, Barbie the pirates defeated happened to us. Oh, sweet. We gain actually, wow, we're actually gaining prestige. Huh, nice. I don't know how we defeated the Barbary Pirates. I don't even know when we defeated the Barbary Pirates, but we defeated the Barbary Pirates. Yeah, go Castillo. Defeating Pirates since 19, since 1556. We have massive native revolts. These guys, these guys, I don't know why they just won't quit, which really doesn't aggravate me, because I'm really trying to remain positively like not trying to kill them <laughs> if, if that's a word just not trying to kill them because I really don't want to kill them because I just don't want to kill them so if you guys could not be so jerkish and just be like yeah we should be friends with you guys yeah that's that's really how you should be friend still hates us I really don't know why I still don't remember why they hated us in the beginning and I still don't, will ever know why I guess they never explained it to me quite. Why do you guys hate us? Because you guys are, are Castile? Why do you guys hate us again? Because that doesn't really define it. You guys are just Castile. We hate you. 
Well, thanks. I'm, I'm so glad we have such a good understanding that that all you have to do is to hate me is to just say thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.